Hi everyone, myself IC Constantine, one of the pharmacy trainer from BMAX Academy, Mevram Branch. Today, I would like to have a discussion on pharmaceutical calculations. One pharmacist in the pharmaceutical calculations are important because we are the persons who have to give right medicine at a right dose to the patient. Apo right dose we have to know calculations very clearly. That's why we have Gulf Rajingal exams like DHA, HAT, MOH, Prometric. Adilalam, around 40 questions will be asked from this calculation part. Especially for diploma candidates in the case of Karnangal, our 40 to 50 questions will be coming from this calculations. Graduates in the case of Karnangal, around 10 to 20 to 30 questions will be from this part. So, if you know calculations very clearly, it is very easy to crack the exam. So, let's begin with my first question. A 5 year old boy is prescribed vitamin D10 drops to take once daily. The vitamin D formulation contains 2 micrograms per ml. How many micrograms of vitamin D is he receiving? If you question, the child is taking vitamin D 10 drops. That's why we have to say that vitamin D formulation is containing 2 micrograms per ml. Now, question question, you have to find out how many micrograms of vitamin D is the child receiving. The options here is option A 2, option B is 1, option C is 0 0.5 and option D is 0 0.25. Now, we will the options where our final answer load to go. So, coming to the steps. You point that 1 drop is equal to 0.06 ml. So, you will know that 1 drop is 0.6 ml. 10 drop is 10 drops into 0.06 ml, which is equal to 0.6 ml. Now, we will say vitamin D formulation is containing 2 microgram per ml. That means 0.6 ml will be containing how much? So, if we are in pharmacy students, we have to know cross multiplication. We have to know the portion of 2 microgram is for 1 ml. What will be the content in 0.6 ml? Just do a cross multiplication. You can see in my slide, 2 microgram is equal to 1 ml. So, x will be 0 0.6 ml. And x is equal to, you just give a cross multiplication here. So, x will be 2 into 0 0.06 which is equal to 1.2 microgram. So, the answer here is 1.2 microgram and the option we can say it as B. So, this is my first question. So, from the question, whenever there is a question containing find out the microgram, uh, find out the quantity or the dose to be of a child to be taken, just do a cross multiplication and go for the right answer. Let's start with the second question. How many milliliters of 10% drug solution is required to make 0.5 liters of 1 is to 160 ratio strength of the drug solution? So, e question you can see a percentage, isn't it? 10% drug solution. So, another point I have to tell you is when you see a percentage, what you have to do is see consider it as 10 gram in 100 ml. So, if it is 15 percentage, then it should be 15 gram in 100 ml. So, if it is 10 percentage, so it is 10 gram in 100 ml. And they are asking us to make 0.5 liters. Anyur ml in etra and nolanana, we have to find it out. So, let us see the options and go for the steps. Option A is 15.6, option B is 31.25, option C is 62.5, and option D is 125. So, let us see how we can do that. So, coming to the steps, 10 percent drug solution, I told you it is 10 gram in 100 ml. So, what will be there in content in 500 ml? So, let us find it out, 10 gram is for 100 ml. So, what will be the content in 500 ml? Just do a cross multiplication. Cross multiplication, you will get the answer as x will be 50 gram. Any, one more point, what is it? 1 by 160 ratio strength. So, what should you do here? You just multiply the value into 1 by 160 and make it into a 100 percentage. So, your answer will be 50 into 1 by 160 into 100 and you will get the answer 
is 31.25 and the option is B. So, idhil nena ninkor point gitti kaano that is whenever you see a percentage make it in gram in 100 ml. Okay. So, let us see the third question. A 5 year old boy was given a 4 ml per day of phenytoin suspension. The child is giving 4 ml per day of the phenytoin and the dose of the quantity of the phenytoin suspension is 125 milligram per 5 ml. The usual daily dose is 4 milligram per kilogram. What is the weight of the boy? So, now we have a different calculation. We have to find the weight of the boy. You can see the options here. Option A is 15 kilogram, option B is 20 kilogram, option C is 25 kilogram and option D is 30 kilogram. Here also let me tell you students, we have to go for a cross multiplication and finally go for the finding the weight. Okay? So let us see the steps. So in this question I told you that it is 4 ml per day the child is taking, isn't it? So 4 ml per day is taking means and the dose of that full suspension is 125 milligram per 5 ml. So 5 ml of the suspension is containing 125 milligram. So what will be there in 4 ml? Okay, that we have to find it out. So do a cross multiplication here, 125 milligram is for 5 ml and for 4 ml what will be the quantity. So just do a cross multiplication and you will get the answer as 100 milligram. So now we know that the child is taking 100 milligram a day. One day, we have to take 100 milligram a day. We have to take the usual daily dose is 4 milligram per kg. One kilo is 4 milligram. We have to take 100 milligram a day. We have to take the weight. Let's see, that is also we can go for a cross multiplication. 4 milligram is for 1 kilogram. So, what will be the dose if, what will be the weight if the dose is 100 milligram? Just do a cross multiplication and you get the answer as 25 kilogram and the option is C. So, now I think you are getting clear how to do a cross multiplication, how to approach a question and find out the answer. So, let's go to my last question. The following formula was prescribed by a dermatologist for a patient with dermatitis. And hydrocortisone 1.5 percentage weight by weight cream base to make 50 gram. The pharmacist has two strength of hydrocortisone cream in his hand. That is 2.5 percentage and 1 percentage. Therefore, in order to compound this prescription, the pharmacist is going to add these two proportions to fulfill the formulation. What should be the weight ratio of the two strength? One is to 2.5 percentage of hydrocortisone. It is where a type of question where you have to do an another formula which is called as the allegation method. So let's go to the options and then I will teach you how to do a allegation method. Option A is 1 is to 2, option B is 1 is to 1, option C is 0 0.5 is to 1, and option D is 2 is to 1. So let's teach you, let me tell you what is an allegation method. So here in this slide you can see that a higher concentration H is there and a lower concentration L is there and you can see a M which is a required concentration you have to make. This is the three pharmacy cases in your case. Like in our case, there are two concentrations in our case. There are two concentrations in So to make the concentration which the doctor asks us, we have to combine these two proportions. One of them is a higher concentration, the other one will be a lower concentration and then we have to mix it up to make the required concentration. So, what you have to do is this method and this is called as allegation method. So, you can see here that H minus M, that is you just have a cross crossing here to get a required concentration of M, what you have to do is, for higher concentration, you have to minus the required concentration minus the lower. So, if the required is 1 and uh, the lower concentration is 0.5, means 1 minus 0.5. So, what you have to do is, the how much higher concentration you need, you just minus the required minus the lower concentration. 
Any, if you have to find out the lower concentration, then what you have to do is, you have to minus the higher concentration minus the required 1. So, which means L equals H minus M. So, this is the same thing that we are just uh, minusing if you need a higher concentration, you the required with the lower minus ega. That is lower concentration anangil, higher minus required. Then you will get two proportions. These proportions are further further calculations. Chayinad. So, let us see how this is suited to our question. So, let us see the steps. I told you that 2.5 percent is a hydrocortisone cream we have. Then we have 1.1 1 .1 as the lower concentration and we have to make us 1.5. So, what should you do? You just give a minus. So, you can see here that is for higher concentration it is 1.5 minus 1. 1 1.5 is our required concentration and 1 is the lower concentration. So, 1.5 minus 1 which is equal to 0 0.5. Then we have our lower concentration that what you have to do? You have to minus the higher concentration minus the required one that is 2.5 minus 1.5 which is equal to 1. So, higher concentration how much you need? It is 0 0.5 and for lower concentration you need 1 parts. Okay? So, finally what you have to do is you just write it down that is 0.5 parts of 2.5 and 1 parts of 1 will constitute the one, uh, 0 0.5 percentage. So, you just write it down 0 0.5 is to 1 is the ratio for 2.5 is to 1. Angani angle, our question is for 1 is to 2.5. Just reverse it. Up end the answer 1 is to 0.5 will be the answer. I am just multiplying it with 2 so that your answer becomes 2 is to 0 0.1 and the 2 is to 1 sorry 2 is to 1 and the option is D. So, this is how you do a allegation method. So, from these four questions, I think you are clear that how to do a calculation and one more thing let me tell you students that BMAX is providing a lot of tricks regarding this calculations. So, uh, if you need so many calculations, doubts, if you have to get so many calculations and all, just come to us, we are ready to help you. Okay? So, thank you all, thank you for listening, bye.